Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to 14 Days of Christmas, hosted by MK and Janet. And this is a photo I'll be scrapping today, and it's um, two of my grandkids when they were younger, and they are now quite a bit younger. And I'm going to use those dies for my title, and technically I didn't cut out the poinsettia ones today. I'm using leftovers from another layout that I had used watercolors and gelatos on. And I'm going to use every little scrap. At first I thought I was going to leave a couple, but then I'll go back and add them too. I am going to use the radar stencil. And in, today, instead of using ink or something, I am going to use modeling paste. I'm going to cover most of it up, but you will see the outer edge. I wasn't sure how much I was going to be covering up, so I went ahead and got the whole area I thought might accidentally be showing. And I'm just going to place the photo up there in the corner that I didn't go ahead and do. And I did slip underneath <laughs> the stencil, so there is kind of a hazy spot down there, but that's okay. It's going to have greenery and stuff on top of it anyway this frame here i kept thinking about using that but then i'd have to cut my photos down that i've been using and the times i thought of it i thought well i don't want to come down this one technically i really did not have to cut anything out that needed to be seen kyler barely made it into the photo him and the santa claus hat and uh Charlie, I did cut off her ear in the back of her head, but I was sitting so close to them. They were up against me. I was in the chair, and I'd just taken Kyler's picture because he mooned me, and I almost missed the whole thing. I grabbed the camera, and I got a little bit of it. I didn't get all, but I think a person could tell by looking at it what he had just done. <laughs> so uh, he's fast, so I had to take this picture fast and Charlie was showing me something and Kyler scooted across there and put his arms around her and hugged her and they cuddled and I didn't know how long it was going to last so I just snapped the little button on the camera and I mean they were just inches away but I still liked the photo I put some layered pieces oh I am using 49 and mark it and what's left of my watercoloring stuff. But the background is Viking and the rest of everything is either Noel or Holiday Wishes. And the poinsettia with the points, uh, holly berry branches, I think they're holly berry branches. I don't think they're poinsettia branches. Uh, they are from uh, Tim Holtz die set. And I only had two of the flowers left. I'd made five. Thought I was going to use five on the layout that I previously did, but I only used three. And so it is kind of an odd number, but I thought, well, I think I can go ahead and make them work. And so my title's up in the upper left-hand corner, and it's sweet moments together because, you know, this is a sweet moment for sure. And then it's just going to diagonal down the page. And instead of having three, well, clusters of flowers, I'm going to have a little cluster up there with my tab and stuff. And no flower. I did say I used every bit of the greenery, but I didn't. I'm looking right at that tray. And I didn't use that poinsettia or holly branch or whatever that is. I didn't use it. It's a two-layer piece, and I did not have the bottom. I don't know if it got put away wrong or it fell underneath something, but it's not there, so I don't end up using it. But I use the little sprigs, the little pieces of branches. I do add them up there with the tabs and stuff. I am putting foam tape under quite a few of the leaves. I'm using that little thin stuff that don't raise it too high, and it's not too wide, so I don't have to cut it down too much. I just have to clip it off and toss it underneath the leaves but I am putting foam tape on them I'm not going to put foam tape on any of the snowflakes but I am going to tuck them here and there diagonally across the layout because I am still going to go with the diagonal but while I'm doing that I want to mention that down there below 
You'll find the links to everybody that are doing the 14 days of Christmas. And uh, this is the last day, so we will be starting something new come tomorrow. Well, some of us will. I'm not sure exactly who all is, but I'm not going to do it all month. But I am looking forward to doing it here and there. I, let's see, where am I at here? I am still adding snowflakes. Um, I did put a snowman in there. I had him left over from when I was making Christmas cards. And this one I did use uh, 49 and mark it for the hat. I had two that I had left that had the hats made with that paper. However, I have misplaced a green one somewhere. And I do not know where it's at. But it's a good thing I found the one that went better with this layout. If I don't forget, I will link at the end of the video where it has those clickable things on there. I will put the uh, video for where I made, well, I painted. I didn't make. I cut, die cut and painted the greenery and the poinsettias. And, but yeah, I usually don't put one of those. I let the random thing go. But I will try to remember to do that on this one. And so here's where I put the sprinkles on there, you know, because I thought I was done, but I kept thinking it needed something else. And so I decided to add a few more of the snowflakes and then this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to clip it apart and tuck it in here and there in the flowers and the greenery so that uh, I'll have something else there. I thought it needed another color. And this is brown with a little bit of white looking snow on it but it does look like twigs at least it does in my opinion so i like to add it so i'm clicking clipping it apart in smaller pieces and like i said i'm just going to tuck them in and then after i get done with that i'm going to add some sequins and those are spiegel mom scraps and they're probably a couple of years old i know i used them last year and maybe even the year before but i'm going to sprinkle well i'm going to place them around the layout i'm not going to sprinkle them i like sprinkling them but when i've got flowers and greenery like this if i sprinkle them they land on there some fall through the cracks as they say and they're kind of hard to get back up and glue them so i'm just going to purposely place them around the layout Oh, and I think I forgot to mention that green phrase sticker. Well, it's not a sticker, but <laughs> it's above the photo. It's making memories. And I picked that one out because my title then becomes Sweet Moments Together Making Memories. And yeah, I, I was looking at all them. and I think I had like two pulled out already. Thinking I'd put them on here maybe. <laughs> They're over in the tray somewhere. Uh, and I saw this and I thought, oh, it'll go so good with my title. So that is why I pulled that one out. And when I put the photo together with the frame, I did put that skinny foam tape behind the frame. So there would be, you know, it'd be raised up above the photo. And yeah, I was, I was so glad it was able to fit there. Of course, it's made for a four inch picture. And Kyler. I didn't have much of his face at all, but I still love the photo. I'll get to scrap it twice because it's going to go in both of their albums. But that's it. That's my layout. And I sure did have fun participating in this hop for the month of December. And I want to thank MK and Janet for inviting all of us to join them on this hop. And for the gaps in between on the day so I could keep up without too much worry. But um, yeah, if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. And yeah, there's that radar thing you can barely see, but I made sure you could see bits and pieces. <laughs> but have a happy scrappy week. Have fun checking out all the videos and of course their layouts. 
And I want to wish you all a happy new year too. And that may all your scrappy dreams and any others you might have, happen to have come through this year. And uh, yeah, have fun scrapping. Don't forget to check all the videos out. Bye.